What's up all my fine, fine girls? No Pimple is with here again with another video. So today I am finally back with a new video. <laughs> so, okay, it's been a minute since I filmed, but as you guys can see by today's title, I am going to be reviewing the new palette that Ace Beauté is dropping Cyber Monday, November 28th. So the release for these palettes should be November 25th on Black Friday and available for purchase November 28th. So they're actually releasing two new palettes and it's going to be the Envy palette and the Aura palette. So today we're gonna be using Envy, but this, I'm gonna show you guys both of them. So this is what the Envy looks like. This right here is like a blue, green grunge palette. Honestly, it feels like the tropical vibes and the oceanic had a baby. This would be her right here. Super cute, it looks even cuter in person, honestly, compared to what my monitor is showing. And then, and then let's get into the um, into the Aura palette. So this is what this one looks like. And this is like a purple grunge palette. So they, they definitely went grunge with these palettes, even though they were sticking to the, the color scheme of like green or purple. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna film, the, the video on this one should be up the following day. But for today, we're gonna be focusing on the Envy palette. So let me go ahead and clip my hair back. It is hot in my room because I had the heater on and I just turned it off. And now I am burning up. Hot, 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 hot. Okay, so to prime my eyes, I'm going to be using my <laughs> Truly Beloved, which I need to buy another one. This is the Makeup Revolution Eyeshadow Base in Medium. And let's go ahead and do this here. I'm excited to play with this um, palette. And I really wanna kinda do something like bold. Like, I have been really into, you know, soft looks and whatnot, but we're gonna go a little bold today. So let me go ahead and put this down and we're gonna get into this palette. Okay, so the eyes have been primed. So I'm gonna be taking this, um, brush here this is a morphe m433 and i want to do like hmm this blue is really just catching my eye for whatever reason and i'm not even a, like a blue eyeshadow kind of person but i want to use this color i want to do something blue for whatever reason today i want to do something blue so i'm gonna go ahead and take this shade and i'm gonna put this all over um like my lid first Oh my goodness, oh, y'all. It gets me every time. I just, I don't know, like just seeing like pigment show up, like, you know, like the colors show up, just every time it does it for me. Okay, so now that we look like we just got beat up, okay, <laughs> what do I wanna take next? I really want to try and blend it out with this Karma shade, but then I also really kinda wanna touch this grunge shade. But I kinda wanna do this. Maybe I can do this on top of this, like to blend that out and then follow up with that. So I was gonna use this blending brush, but this might be a little too much. So I need, I need a slightly smaller brush to pack that on with first. What brush am I looking for? I, I'm looking for a brush that I don't know what I'm looking for. Y'all with me, that makes lots of sense. <laughs> okay, maybe this one. So I'm gonna take this brush right here. This is a Morphe M507. And I'm gonna go into this shade right here, card, Carled, called Karma, okay? And I'm just going to like pat this down here like this. Dang, I haven't done eyeshadow like this in a minute. This is like giving me Beats by Debs type of style of makeup, like. Ooh, I have, I'm, I've been very, honestly, I've been very, very simple with getting to my looks, getting to the overall finished look. This right here is just some extra steps right here. Okay, okay, so it's going to get better, okay? But, 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 but I will say with this shade, do y'all see the color in the actual pan? Like, this is a shade that I put down. Doesn't this look darker? This looks This looks like I could have grabbed this shade, but no, it was this shade. So this palette runs deep, okay? She runs deep. So I'm going to take a clean blending brush right here. This is a Sephora Pro Crease Number 10 brush. This is no longer available, but any blending brush would work. And I'm going to ever so lightly just like softly blend this out. This color is honestly really pretty. It's giving 
em like a like a rich emerald shade if that makes sense or is this emerald or am i making that up i don't know but it's it's cute so i'm just gonna softly blend this i'm probably going to cut some of this out because i have to take my time in do this here and you want to be sure to softly blend it because I don't want to like go crazy and it rise higher it's a shade that I want there but I want it, it to be placed like I want you to stay in your place but I need you to blend it out like from what I've done here this little bit I've done here like you see like you see what I'm talking about like it's still staying in place but it's like slightly blending out I hope I'm making sense so do y'all have anything like on your Black Friday list I realized this year like there's not really much that I want like I'm not really buying any makeup. Like I'm not I'm really not buying any makeup this year. I have a perfume that I have in mind that I want to get, but I want to see if this website is going to do a Black Friday sale. So if they do, I'm gonna get that. Aritzia, Aritzia just had their um, they have it currently going on right now. Okay, but by the way, I'm gonna go back into that first brush that I grabbed that Crave shade and. Actually, I don't know why I grabbed it like this. I'm gonna grab it with a tip like this into the shade, tap off the excess, and blend the edges of that out so it can kind of like blend into this. If you see, like it just looks like they look like two separate shades. Like they don't like they're fading nicely into each other. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. But anyways, Aritzia, child, when I say that store has me in a chokehold, I love Aritzia, okay? Like I stay on TikTok watching videos all day of like try on hauls. God, by the way, I love TikTok now. Like I really do. But anyways, Aritzia is having their um, winter winter sale and it's like 10% off. And <laughs> when we look at Aritzia prices, baby, you will take any discount, okay? 10% may not sound like a lot, but child, I got nine items. No, I got eight items. And my bill was like, 400 plus before the discount and even then the discount it's still in the $400 range <laughs> and mind you I was getting like a bunch of basics so like my stuff was even cheaper than normal but usually y'all like an item one item from Aritzia like type of the sculpt knit line that I really like usually range from like 50 to 100 dollars for one item but the quality chef's kiss so anyways going back in with this brush right here I'm just going to like this whole process is being very soft with what we're doing because I don't want this to, you know, go too high. Honestly, if you want to make your life easier, I don't know why I did it this way, but I just really wanted to do it, do, do it this way, is you can start off with the Karma shade and then place the um, Crave shade if you want to do it that way, but I wanted to do this. <laughs> Okay, and I think I'm liking this. I think I'm liking this. I think we have room to just add um, that other shade that I was looking at, that, that I don't know how to say it. Gil, it's G-U-I-L-E. Um, I'm gonna take this blending brush right here. This is a, mm, the number rubbed off. But I wanna say this is a Morphe M503 blending brush. I'm gonna go ahead and go into that shade. And this one right here, I'm going to be a little wild with when it comes to um, me placing this down. Ooh, yes, yeah, see. Actually, this is why I did this route. So that way you can really see the colors. You know, are you guys seeing that? I'm seeing it. I can see it. You guys can see it. Yes, y'all can see it. You can see what I'm doing over there. Should I do a halo eye? I have not done a halo eye in a minute, but I don't like doing halo eyes on myself. I don't think I have the eye shape to do a, a halo eye. I usually always feel like I take forever to do them and I just never fully love it. I don't do them often, but I love a halo eye. But mm, it may not be for me. I have not filmed all November. I have not posted a video, so I had to, you know, I had to do this for you guys, okay? Because some of y'all were like, y'all are so sweet. Some of y'all were DM me like, you know, we miss you. <laughs> I miss you too. I miss you too, okay? So I was going to do a cut crease. So let me go ahead and do that. And I already know what shimmer I wanna play with because I'm, I'm, I'm looking at her, so I'll be back. Let me go ahead and cut my crease. And I'll be back. Okay, so the crease has been cut. And honestly, I feel like I might switch this into a halo. I, I may take that deep blue and bring it out here. It's it's giving very much that. There's a, there's a very high chance that I'm gonna do just that. So um, let's first put down the shimmer at least. 
we're gonna place that in the center. Where is, okay, here's a brush that I wanna use. So the shimmer that I want to play with is this one right here has been calling my name. It's called Fantasm. This shade right here, it's like a beautiful like shimmer sky blue. Let's see. Ooh, now that is pretty. It almost has like a green like undertone to it. Or maybe I'm just saying things, but it just kind of, it, it has like, it feels like it has some type of green in there by the way have you guys gone to go see the new black panther movie i'm not gonna give any spoilers yet i'm not gonna give any spoilers but let me just say it was a good movie okay and i'm going to go see it for the second time next week like y'all that movie was it was good to me like and then the post the um the mid credits um scene got me hyped okay i'm excited to see like i just i feel like with how unfortunate it was with chadwick boseman passing away the people who are, you know, the creative directors when it comes to that movie, the fact that they were able to find a way to still keep this movie going, like, and the way they did it, man, some people are really, really talented in this life. Let me just say that because I was really looking like, how y'all gonna keep this going, you know, like, but they found a way and I, I love the way they found. So pretty much if you have not seen it yet, okay, go see it because it's an, it's an amazing movie. Yes, okay, so I like that. And I think, um, let's go ahead and add in that blue again. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that same brush that I was using um, to put that Crave shade down. And I'm just gonna go ahead and place this here. Actually, you know, I think I may need a smaller brush to get into that area. So this looks like it's the same size. Hmm. You know what I might do? I'm gonna go ahead and take the brush that I used to put that green shade down. I have to clean it off with some brush cleaner because that area, I don't I don't wanna use that big brush and then, you know, it gets all over the place. So let me clean this off real quick from that. Let's go ahead and go into that. Okay, so I like the way that looks. I'm gonna go ahead and place it on the outer part as well. It's just kind of, you know, for reinforcement. Okay, and then taking the brush that I used to put Crave down in the first place, I'm gonna go ahead and just start blending this up a little bit because, you know, it's looking like it's just on the lower half of my lid. Like I don't like for my, like my eye look looks right, but right now it looks like I have two separate looks going on. I feel like I have the lower half and then like the green and like, I need it to all look like, you know, one unit. I'm liking that, I'm liking that. All right, taking this brush again. Yeah, this is a lot of back and forth, you guys, I'm sorry. But I'm gonna go into that Karma shade, that green, and I'm just gonna go ahead and go over this. And this, I think I like this, I like this, I like this, I got a lot of fallout. Got a lot of fallout, but. Y'all, I like this. Okay, okay with the halo eyes, because you guys, halo eyes are not my theme. Like, as much as I love them, I just feel like sometimes I don't like the way they look on me. Like, you know? But this one, she didn't come out bad. She didn't come out bad. Okay, so this is the eye look semi-completed. I know it looks crazy to have that, cause the primer here. It looks crazy, right? But I'm gonna go ahead and do it the rest of my face off camera. And I'll be back so you guys can see everything like, you know, cute, okay? And I'm gonna include swatches, give you guys my overall thoughts on the palette, and yeah, I'll be back in seconds, or in a second. <laughs> All right, you guys, so this is the completed look. Okay, I think she's cute, I think she's a cutie. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert swatches of the palette. So I do not know the price of this palette as of yet. Um, I was able to receive it beforehand before it actually released. I don't know what the prices are gonna be, but these are smaller than their um, regular 15 pan palettes. So it's gonna, be, it's gonna have to be a little bit cheaper than this, I would assume. But anyways, what I did wanna show you guys was I did have the Oceanic and the Tropical Vibes here. So you guys can kind of get an idea for anybody who wants to see those compared to this palette. So I feel like this is more so like you know how like when you see a kid and like you see their parents it's just like oh i can see that you definitely got more of your jeans from your dad or from your mom i feel like between for this baby okay for the oceanic and the tropical vibes for them to have a kid i feel like it looks more like it's 
its dad, the Oceanic, okay? It don't look nothing like his mom, okay? Well, it does, but, you know, it looks more like that. So, anyways, let me show you guys this. So, this is the two palettes side by side. So, you can see it definitely has some similarities in there. And then let me show it to you holding up the Tropical Vibes. So, oh, sorry. Let me, let me do it this way. So, as you guys can see, like, this, pretty much, like, this side of the palette looks a lot like the Oceanic with the grunge from the tropical vibes really we're just coming from like these shades so if you're someone that you know you kind of like both of these palettes but you know you for whatever reason you don't want both of them you just want one i feel like the envy is a great addition or if you like both of these palettes but you want a smaller version because um i don't know you just want a smaller version there's the envy so yeah and then also you guys be on the lookout i am going to be filming with the aura palette next so be on the lookout for that video. Um, I do have a discount code now with Ace Bute. So um, it's just Ask Whitney. It'll save you 10% off your purchase. So use your girl's discount code. It's not an affiliate link, so I don't get anything back from it. Um, so yeah, feel free to use that if you want to save some money. Um, these will be available November 28th for purchase on Cyber Monday. So yeah, um, that's pretty much with that with the video i hope you guys enjoyed this let me know down below if you plan on picking this up what you think about the look you know and um stay tuned for the next video with the aura palette so until next time i will talk to you beauties later bye